But now let's press play again and hear how it sounds whenever I start speaking in clip six. We're on our way to our first exhibit. So let's see. So now you can't hear me at all. It sounds like I'm essentially competing with the audio. To fix that, we can do something called audio ducking with keyframes. We're essentially going to do the opposite of what we just did. We're going to animate the audio volume to go back down. So in our timeline, let's go to about the point where I start speaking, which is right here. Then we're gonna go slightly before it. Let's click on our music. Then we'll create another keyframe for our volume where it's set at zero decibels. We'll go a little bit further into when I start speaking, which is right here. Then we'll bring our volume back down to negative 15 decibels. And you can see that change reflect once again here between the keyframes. Let's bring our playhead back and hear how that sounds. We're on our way to our first exhibit. So let's see what animal we Now, rather than the background music being super loud and you barely being able to hear me, we balanced out the audio by doing audio ducking. And you can do this for the rest of your project. Anytime there's a gap where you want your viewer to be able to hear the background music better, you can animate it using keyframes to bring the volume up. And then whenever you start speaking, just do the exact opposite and bring your volume back down again.